In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a custom domain to Webflow. Now, at the end of the video, you should know how to do it and you should be able to set up your domain no problem. So first, go ahead and choose the website you want to connect a domain to. I've just built a very simple example website. Here is that website. Now, what we want to do, we want to go to publish in the top right hand corner. And then here you'll see add a custom domain. Now, if you haven't got a paid plan, once you click on add a custom domain, it's going to take you to the site plans. And to connect to custom domain, you need this basic plan, which starts at $14 per month. So go ahead and grab that and then you can connect your domain. So go to add a custom domain. Then it will take you into this publishing window. And from here, what we can do, we can scroll down and then click add a custom domain. Click on that and then you need to go ahead and click quick connect domain. And then that will open up a new window. It will open up entry and that will be used to configure our domain. So now we'll click continue and we'll enter in our domain. So my domain is registered on Hostinger. So I'm going to log in now and find a domain. So I'm going to connect this one here, learningforaliving.com. So what I'll do is I'll copy the domain name. We'll then go back here. We'll type in www. Paste in the rest of the domain. So the domain I'm going to use is learningforaliving.com. So we'll copy this domain. We'll then go back to Webflow and you can then paste in your domain, then click continue. So then going to analyze your domain. It should then find where it's registered. As you can see, it's hosting it and it's going to then give us the setup details. This might be different though for your domain, depending on where it's registered. Now we can go ahead and log in to Hostinger so we can give them one time permission to connect the domain. If you don't know this, you can set it up manually, but we're going to go ahead and enter in the details. Once you've done that, it's going to authenticate and make sure that everything is correct. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically add the records which are necessary to that domain. So in my case, it has detected some records already and it's going to go ahead and override them and connect and add the relevant records. So we're going to click here, OK, continue, and we're confirming that we're updating these records, which is fine. It will then go ahead and add the relevant records and it should then connect the domain. And there you go. Just like that, learning for a living is now configured and everything should be up and running. Now, it might take 48 hours for the DNS settings to be properly propagated. I think that's the right word. So we're going to click done here and you can see that the domain connection was successful. So if you scroll down here, it will say that it's unverified, but that just means that it hasn't recognized the DNS records yet. These records have been added. Uh, if you go into the back end of your domain, you go to DNS slash name servers, you should then see the text records and then you'll also see two A records as well. So you can add it manually if this isn't working. I'll make a video on how you can add it manually as well. Now, what you want to do, if it doesn't verify, just click on verify domain. It will then scan again for the DNS settings. I just did that off camera and now it's connected. So now we can go ahead and copy the domain. We can go ahead and paste it into the search bar and it should then be connected. It may not though, because it does take 48 hours. If you do want to make sure that you've done everything correct, go ahead and just Google dnschecker.org. You can then paste in your domain here. You can click search. And if everything's green, then all you want to do is just wait up to 48 hours. And then once 48 hours passes, your domain will be connected. So that's how you can do it. Just be patient and it will be connected.